I am not replacing him. Don't make him a suit! A hundred days in office, so many accomplishments, lowered my golf handicap, my Twitter following increased by 700, and finally, we can shoot hibernating bears. My boys will love that. Sir, here's a new bill that you must read immediately. It lowers taxes for only Republicans. Can Fox News read it? Now watch what they say. Uh, no, you have to read it. The new Supreme Court Justice, Ivanka, takes Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat on the bench. You can buy Ivanka's robe with gavel earrings for only 1,000 rubles. You said you'd replace me with Garland! Oh, 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 oh. oh, come on, this is horrible. This was supposed to last me the whole four years. Marge, please, give the President of the United States some time. He's only 70 years old. Help! They're taking me back to where I came from! Where is that? I don't remember! 100 days. We are 6.8% of the way home. Paid for by anybody else 2020. Obviously, this video was geared more towards the Trump administration, and you do get the sense of the Simpsons making fun of the Trump administration pretty much for the, uh, for the, one, for the first 100 days of the president being in office. What did, we, what did we see thus far from the Trump administration? Well, we've seen Trump attacking Syria, going against what he said he would do. And then, now we see the tensions between the United States of America versus North Korea. And now a possible World War III threat is on the horizon. Not just that alone, now you've got China's in the mix, Russia's in the mix. So you can see potential threats taking place between these these are uh, these these nations nonetheless i shared with you guys a video about a uh, about uh, 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 of a former dutch elite banker who worked behind the scenes with just for the for the powerful elite of society for those that run the financial systems for those who are actually above like basically they're the ones that that run that control the money and he and he basically said, in his testimony, he said that if you trace the money, you'll find the real truth. Everything that's happening is connected to the monetary system. Everything is connected to the money. Where the money goes, that's where you'll find the truth. Trace the money if you want to know the, tr the real truth about the world we live in. And door dus, um, weet je, alles wat je in de wereld wil weten, kan je weten door de geldstromen te volgen. Ja. Dat is bottom line. Iedereen, iedereen kan bla 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 zeggen. Ja. Maar zo, zorg dat je de geldstromen volgt. Ja. Dan kom je alles te weten. Ja. Dat was toen ook zo. Dus het enige wat Irak wilde... dat is dat niemand ze ervan kon betichten... inclusief de partners die het kochten. Hè, want de partners die het kochten... waren degene die de embargo's hadden opgelegd. Ik bedoel, het zijn allemaal gewoon vriendjes. <laughs> Dat denkt iedereen van, hé, hey, deze wereld is met, uh, met uh, plus en min en uh, zwart en groen. Maar op een hoger niveau is het een spel. Het zijn vriendjes. Ja. Maar ze hebben zich wel te houden aan alle regels en wetten... die ze zelf hebben gecreëerd om de rest van de samenleving daar te houden. En dat het niet erg druk wordt in de top. Ja. Mm -hmm. Dus je moet wel volgens je eigen regels gaan spelen. Nou, dus, dus hetgeen wat daar speelt, dat is dat je dus wil dat eh, niemand het spoor kan vinden of kan volgen. Hè? Buitenom de top is niemand in de onderlagen die kan volgen waar de banken. Hè? Die wilden hun handen ook schoon houden. Ja. Maar binnen zo'n bank zitten dus een aantal mensen die weten donders goed wat er altijd speelt. Hè? Dus bij, zeg maar 1% binnen een bank weet precies wat er werkelijk speelt in deze wereld. Dat moet ook wel, want die hebben dus te maken met al die geldstromen. Maar dat zijn je klanten. Maar je hebt ook uiteindelijk met overheden te maken. Je hebt te maken met multinationals. Je hebt te maken met geheime diensten. Maar je hebt ook te maken met wat ze nu noemen terroristische organisaties. Je krijgt dus het hele palet van groot geld aan cliënteel. En dan zie je ook de verbindingen. Dat, dat staat dan los van elkaar, wat je net zei, hè? ieder weet een deel. Maar jij zit er middenin, dus jij ziet steeds meer van... oh, maar nu komt het van dit en dan gaat het naar daar... en van daar gaat het naar daar. Je, je 
krijgt steeds meer informatie en overzicht over wat er werkelijk speelt. En moet je ook al die handen, noem ik het maar even, dienen? Dus als we het nu hebben over terroristen en zo, die, die dien je ook. Je probeert iedereen tevreden te houden. Ja. Mijn hemel. Ja. Dat was je werk. De borden in de lucht houden. Ja. Ja, en wat, je, wat, wat een van de dingen waar voor mij een luik open ging, dat, dat ik toen eerst niet wist, maar nu wel, dat is bijvoorbeeld geheime diensten. Je denkt dan van geheime diensten zijn in het belang van een land en van een volk ja, enzovoort, ja. enzovoort. Ja, ja. Maar dan blijken dat eigenlijk wat ze nu noemen criminele organisaties te zijn. Mm -hmm. Althans, het systeem is zwaar crimineel. Ja. Het, het, het gaat over het financieren van oorlogen, het creëren van oorlogen... het creëren van eigenlijk heel veel ellende in deze wereld. Mm -hmm. He, dus ook heel veel strijd. Ja. En dan denk ik van, jeetje, de mensen moesten eens weten... hoe de wereld werkelijk in elkaar zit. Voor die diensten is niets te dol. Nee. Niets. Maar ook hun hebben weer hun geldstromen. Want als hun dus in de handel van drugs zitten... of in de handel van wapens of in de handel van... Noem het maar op, mensen. Al dat geld moet ergens naartoe. Alles moet gefinancierd worden. Nou, it is interesting if you go and actually watch the, the full interview, you come across some very interesting things which the man mentions. Uh, this is Mr. Bernard, this Dutch, this former Dutch uh, elite banker. He basically mentioned things um, like, you know, as far as with relating to the monetary system, terms such as the Iraqi dollar. What was deemed to be the Iraqi dollar was in fact actually American dollars. They were the ones who were dealing with it. It was all about basically all this money that was printed and now they had to reintroduce it, find a way to reintroduce it back into the into the into the money into the money circula, circula, circulatory system. Recirculate the money, bring introduce it back into the circulation. That way it's all legal within 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 the rules. And he basically then mentions how all these, pe all these things are connected. Events, major catastroph catastrophic events are tied to money. And you know what? It makes perfect sense, right? A lot of these terrorist organizations, they need funding. So what's that? Money. They need money. And he basically confessed that he had to be the, the, the person in between. He's the mediator who makes this, this side happy and he makes that side happy. And guess what? He basically then illustrates how you, you might see pub, the people in the public, they see two enemies they, or they see, two, they see both sides of a spectrum of one going head to head with another. The right versus the left. You got, it's almost like professional wrestling. Nonetheless, he basically illustrates how these people, they behind the scenes are close buddies. They are actually close friends. Nonetheless, with the rules, in order for, for them to be at the top, to remain the elite, they must keep their distances before the eyes of the public and, be, and, and basically um, show that they are against one another. That is the only way they remain the elite of society. They control how things move. Everything is connected to the monetary system. It is interesting how money is responsible for a lot of the events taking place here on earth. These people, they love money so much that they are willing to commit great atrocities for the sake of having more wealth and more power. The more you get, the more money you receive, the more you want, you crave more. Even though you have plenty of money to sustain you for the rest of your existence on earth. Nonetheless, it's never enough. Which ultimately then translates to the love of money is the root to all evil. That's not my words, that's what the Bible says. You see, America was but no longer is on a gold reserve currency. So what do they want now? They need an oil reserve currency. So that's why everything points back to the Middle East. Why? Because the Middle East is, is where their 
have lots of oil and they need that oil. But it's interesting how all these events are all connected to money. They're all connected to money, which means these people themselves, they are all linked together. They are connected. There's a lot, I don't even know, wow, I don't even know how I'm doing for time. I think I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it overboard. I'm trying to keep this video short. So let me just go back to The Simpsons and just give you guys a quick commentary on that. You might think that, the, okay, these, because it seems like The Simpsons are attacking the Trump administration and it also seems like, uh, like, uh, like mainstream media hates Trump and they're, they're, they're talking against, the, the, against Donald Trump. But the people who are on, on above, the people who are, who are pulling the strings behind these major organizations, these major corporations, these big medias, do you think that these people are against Trump? No. If the Simpsons was against the Trump administration, how is it that they just seem to accurately predict Trump as being president of the United States of America? How is it that everything just seemed to fit, to fit all in line with it? Interesting, is it not? It just makes you wonder. Hey, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things to make you think about, but nonetheless, hey, I'm not going to sit here and keep jamming about a bunch of stuff to your ears. There's a lot of this because I've got I've got other things that I'm working on. Nonetheless, listen, there is a problem with YouTube right now. There's a problem with YouTube. I honestly feel like my channel is actually dying. My channel is being killed by YouTube. And I might do an update, let you guys know. I don't know, honestly, the way it seems. I honestly doubt that I'll even be on YouTube for long if, the, by the way things are going. Um, I highly doubt it. I don't know. I will keep, I will keep, uh, I'll see what I can do as far as keep making videos but I highly doubt that I but that you will see me for long on YouTube because I almost honestly feel like I might have to walk away from YouTube soon in the near future um, and that's due to the whole censorship and my videos are not being monetized even though it might show the 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 the, the dollar sign it's not even it's not even generating anything at all so it's very difficult the way things are going right now as far as YouTube is concerned videos being demonetized, videos that are even showing them the dollar sign, they're not even generating anything, ads are not being played on videos. So all these things are affecting channels like myself and many others out there. And right now it's at the point where I'm possibly, I'm going to be, I may be leaving YouTube, but I don't know when. I honestly don't know. Um, I will go, I will, I will still do my part to put out the Bible prophecy series out there. I will be working on that. I will put. I'll come out and put videos out there. I will still. I'm not. I'm not announcing that I'm quitting YouTube, but I'm announcing that if this continues, and I don't have a a a a, 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 a way of a means of successful crowdfunding, I may not be able to do this. I may not be able to afford to come and stand in front of these lights and speak in front of the camera. I may not even be able to afford to even sit down and make videos on YouTube, I may have to walk away from it. But I don't know for how long, I don't know. As far as now, I will still be on YouTube making videos, but I don't know um, how long I can do this for. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who feel inclined to support this channel, if this channel has helped you in any way, you can feel free to become a Patreon member. Link is in the video description box. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I'll also put a, a I'll also pin a comment that will also link the, my Patreon account here so that you guys can be able to anybody who feels inclined to become a Patreon member and you do get benefits anyways. It's not like you, you get more benefits than people who, who are here on YouTube. Um, but nonetheless, you can feel free to join me on Facebook. My links are in the video description box. Thank you for tuning in and for joining the controversy. Once again, you take care of yourselves. Be safe and I'll see you guys next time.